Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now since my last kayak fishing video, I've had a couple of very worthy upgrades and what better chance than to give you a walkthrough of my kayak fishing setup. Let's get started. Now I've owned quite a few kayaks in my time, but a lot of those kayaks required a lot of expense and customization to make them efficient and comfortable on the water. However, with the Hobie Pro Angler, you're a little bit spoiled because the baseline model has so many really good features, such as. Adjustable Think Vantage seat. The 180 Mirage drive system non-slip flooring, retractable rudder and skeg, steering on both sides of the kayak, and Hobie's H-Rail with an unlimited amount of accessories and mounts. and an easily accessible storage hatch which you can access easily on the water. The Hobie Pro Angler has unparalleled drainage and stability making it a world class fishing kayak. So the first worthy upgrade that I've had done recently is the Lowrance TI 27 inch sounder and this is a really cool unit. So this comes as a triple shot unit meaning that it's got traditional 2D sonar, it's got down scan and it's also got side scan. It's a high resolution touch screen with navigation and a whole set of connectivity options and I was pretty lucky throughout. I had some access to some good people at Lowrance that really guided me to making sure that this was a really good unit. Now most of the Hobies come what they call as Lowrance ready which means they've got a mount underneath the hull of the kayak but there's a catch. That hull mount is only for single shot and double shot transducers. Now this is my old sounder which is the Lowrance Hook 24 4X a very common sounder out there and what they would say as Lowrance ready and that's because if we have a look at the mounting bracket underneath the Hobie kayak the single shot transducer just gets fitted straight in and then goes straight underneath the hull of the kayak and the same would apply with double shot transducers however with triple shot transducers they're not going to fit into that mounting bracket now this being a triple shot transducer means that I had to go out and buy the Burley Pro triple shot transducer mount and that way I could have that mounted safely and securely. And to power the sounder, what I've done is I've installed an FPV waterproof battery which sits underneath the storage hatch. This is a 17.5 amp FPV waterproof battery and this powers the sounder and this just mounts into the bracket there, powers on, tighten that up the only other thing that I had installed with this was obviously the mounting bracket and the sun visor to make sure that you don't get sun glare when you're out there fishing. I had a good look at the Hobie H crate and I also had a look at the Hobie Livewell. They're great units but to be honest they didn't really suit what I was doing. The primary function of me having something behind the seat is to keep my catch fresh. Now what I did I went to a heap of fishing shops and I wanted to get something with this exact dimensions that basically just fits flush straight on the hull. I've got some of these easy attaching clips which basically allows you to clip that esky in no time. The other thing I can do is use it as a live well and I've got a Rapala aerator which you can basically fill this with water if you wanted to keep your catch fresh or if you wanted to use live bait. Now I know a lot of guys they will mount extra rod holders on their esky but I really didn't want to do that so instead what I did was I purchased some of these trolling rod holders and they serve a couple of purposes. Firstly I've got one on each side which allows me to have four units that I can have that I take out with me, which will generally be three fishing rods and one net. The other good thing about these is that they're adjustable in so many different angles. So when I'm out there, I can be trolling hard body lures and I basically just flick these switches here, run them down and that will have the rods sitting nice and flush. Um, and it's also a great way of having a bit of separation between the rods and in an area that you can actually reach. So rather than having your rods back here, they're just so easily to access. Now when it comes to safety, I carry a few key items with me. Now the first basic safety item I have with me is a life jacket. So this is a good Hobie waterproof life jacket. 
It's got a built-in whistle should I need to attract people nearby. It's also got waterproof pockets, which I use to carry a walkie-talkie around with me so I can communicate with the others. Now, drainage is exceptional on the Hobie kayaks, but for good measure, I also carry with me just a bilge pump. For whatever reason, if I'm taking water, I can quickly get this out, drain all the water out of the Hobie, and back to happy days. I also take out with me a foldable telescopic net. And these are just great for that quick access and storage. Get this one and just open it up. And away you go. And the other item that I carry around with me is a three pound anchor, which I keep stored in the storage hatch. I've got extra rod holders. I've got camera mounts. I've got all the standard features that you take out with me, but it's a kick ass setup. And why don't we go out there and get ourselves some fish? You can do guys, what I like about these is you can do plus, you can set up your own customization, right? So what we can do is we say, we want to put in sonar, we want to put in side scan, and we want to put in down scan. And look at that. So you can have, now I'd prefer to have the down scan there, like that, and then I'm going to save that. And then now, look at that, that's my view. You should be able to get that out the way. All right, so that means now we have side imaging, so I can see what's on each side of the kayak. Um, down imaging, which is a photo-like down scan, and then we also have traditional 2D sonar. Now that's gonna look really cool when we get up to the structure over there, guys, but uh, how good is that? And then obviously we can flick through to navigation, and that's gonna plot our movement, which is really good. All right, guys, so I've just flicked to a split screen now with down scan and traditional 2D scan. But the idea will be now is we're going to move up and down here looking for marks. What are we looking for? So these are obviously the poles that we can see. Just going real slowly. We're looking for a lot of arches sitting on the bottom. Stuff like that. There's fish holding there. They look like pinkies holding in here. Let's just do a cast in there. goodness here we go oh my goodness it smoked me Yeah, it smoked me. Yeah, that absolutely smoked me. Let's try here for a minute. I can see lots of stuff on the sounder. That is a A-grade cast. Oh, I hope so, man. Far out. There we go. Old mate's onto a good fish there. He's pulled it out. He's pulled the hook like I did. Bad luck, man. But you gotta love a Hobie Pro Angler, guys. How many 
kayaks are there that you can just stand with this stability and you know you've got all those features I talked about before non stick floor you've got the storage right behind you you've got the sounder got the camera mounts got the rods storage there you know you've got extra rod holders esky that's just an amazing fishing vessel and um, you know if you've been kayak fishing for a few years and you're really serious about getting something good well I don't think it gets any better in this even the entry level Hobies it's not something you're really going to be able to stand in this is just this is a bit of a game changer being able to do this and obviously the new 360s are even better because they've got 360 steering which means if you're up against the poles you can just basically steer in any direction which is a huge advantage so we're marking up a little school of pinkies there and that's obviously just outside these poles it's probably more that direction there 